Okay, ladies and gents, this is a little bit. I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna split this into a separate video. Definitely, actually, now I think about it. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a separate video. Um, prior to the next actual main episode of the LP, um, basically just want to go over some um mod related stuff. Um, if if this kind of thing, me talking about game balancing and mods and things, bores you to tears, then feel free to not bother watch this and skip straight to the main video. Just don't ask me why the enemies suddenly have a lot more health <laughs> and why my guns aren't doing as much damage, okay? Because it's all explained in this video. You've, you've been warned. Um, so yeah, basically, um, my mod setup has changed a little bit. Well, quite a bit, actually. Um, I've added a bunch of new things. Um, first is a mod called Drugs of Bad MK, and it basically adds visual effects to drugs, and that includes stim packs and super stim packs. Actually, um, it's quite interesting. Um, mainly, the, the the when you when you when you take a stim pack, the screen will flash red, uh, and when you take a super stim pack, as long as you've got the super stim pack sickness that you get here. Um, your vision goes all sorts of crazy, blurry and weird and stuff like that. So it's a it's a kind of a cool side effect that makes you have to think very carefully about whether or not you want to use a super stim pack or not. Um, so that's pretty neat, but that's a very relatively minor thing. Um, that's not the main point of this little discussion. Basically, I was actually playing a little bit of Fallout 3 recently in in my downtime when I wasn't recording. Um, and one of the things I like about the Fallout 3 is that you got Mart's Mutant mod for it, and I kind of realized how much I missed having a monster mod for in New Vegas, um, so I installed one, um, I, what was it, it was the monster mod for New Vegas, and then it has the Wasteland edition of it installed on top of it, and then plus a bunch of tweaks to remove a few creatures and things like that, um, it's, uh, info will be in the description as usual, one assumes, um, but... Mainly, yeah, I installed the monster mod, and then following following me having done this, I went to a bunch of locations in the game just to test that the mod was obviously working, and that everything was sort of, there weren't any horrible glitches or bugs or errors. Um, and one of the places I went to was um, Quarry Junction, which is where the Death Claws are. And... Uh, I've just realised I'm recording in the wrong mode. I'm recording in game mode rather than rather than desktop mode. Ah, oh, fuck it. Never mind. It doesn't matter for now. Um, anyway, yeah, I went to Quarry Junction, which is where the Death Claws are, and I went in there looking looking in there because the mod adds a bunch of new types of Death Claw. So obviously, I went there first. I went into Quarry Junction by me lonesome without any companions, and I proceeded to fucking massacre the Death Claws in there. It was so ridiculously easy to kill every single Death Claw in Quarry Junction that it was pretty much almost a joke. And the reason is because I was using a mod called Realistic Weapons Damage. Realistic Weapons Damage, obviously, it does what it says on the tin. It makes guns do a hell of a hell of a lot more damage and just, just all weapons across the board, really. Now, this was fine for shoot, you know, fighting enemies with guns. Because it meant that you had an even chance of being, you know, headshotted and killed instantly. Or being, you know, taking a couple of bullets in the chest and then dying. However, it's become very, very painfully clear to me that it basically... The, the, the problem with realistic weapons damage is that it basically neuters every melee opponent in the game. Um, I was able to headshot, kill, one, you know, one-shot kill in the head every death claw in... Um, in Quarry Junction with this rifle, which isn't even that brilliant a rifle, it's not bad, but it's not like one of the best rifles in the game or anything, but I was able to headshot one one shot kill death claws with this. That I didn't even have to shoot them in the head, as long as I got sneak attack I could kill them in one hit. Um That applied to like the Alpha Male Death Claw, the Death Claw Mother, the really big powerful ones, you know. Didn't matter. One shot kill every single one of them. If they'd been alerted to me, I could kill them in two or three shots. So, and that's without shooting the head. Um, so, and after that, I went to Black Mountain, because the mod adds a few extra sort of mutant, super mutant type enemies, including a few mutant, super mutant behemoths that are in there. Um, 
and I was able to kill a super mutant behemoth in two shots with this rifle. A super mutant behemoth with two shots from this rifle. Uh, and that is the point where I realized I have to uninstall realistic weapon damage. I, I pretty much have to. I cannot play the game um, with realistic weapons damage anymore. That Those two little encounters from me testing out mods has basically ruined the mod for me. I can't, I can't play with it anymore. Um, it makes the game just so easy. It makes the game way, way too easy. Um, and you know, some people will be like, Oh, but it doesn't make the game too easy, because it makes the enemies do more damage as well. But it's, and it's just, it doesn't work like that. The enemies in this game, even the ones with guns, can't shoot for shit anyway. You can snipe them all from a distance and just kill them all one, one by one by one, and it's just, it basically completely ruins the balance of the game. Shoe face! Um... It completely ruins the balance of the game. It ruins the balance of a bunch of the mods that I'm supposed to be doing in this LP as well. Um, they're balanced not not with, you know, not necessarily even with Project Nevada in mind, actually. But certainly not with realistic weapons damage in, my, in mind. There, there have been a few cases previously where we've come... And, and, and there will be cases in the future, I believe, the mod installed where we'll get to sort of big bosses and we'll have a big confrontation with them and it'll be a big build up and then they'll just be bang dead one shot in the head with a with a fucking 357 revolver um and it's anticlimactic and it's almost silly to be honest with you and yeah it just does make the game so much easier i've play tested for a, a little bit visiting the same locations i did the first time without realistic weapon damage installed and the game is suddenly a lot harder and that is hilarious really considering i think one of the aims of realistic weapon damage is to make the game harder, but it doesn't. It makes it so much easier. Um, so yeah, that's there, there you go. I've uninstalled it. I'm not going to be using it anymore. So as a result, enemies in the game will be tougher to kill. They'll probably take more shots to, to kill. Um, and, you know, it might not be realistic, but it's how the game was designed to be played, ultimately. It's how the mods for the game are designed to be played as well, um, and that's just that's the way I'm going to do it from now on. Um, you know, it, it I, I require very few things from a Fallout game, but one of them is that death claws are scary as fuck, and that I should really think care very carefully before attacking one of them. With a realistic weapon damage installed, a death claw was literally less scary than a man with a machine gun. A man with a machine gun, like like a big machine gun, like a light machine gun or an M60 or something like that, is terrifying with realistic weapon damage installed because he can kill you so easily. A death claw, on the other hand, might as well be a mole rat because that's how easy they are to kill with realistic weapon damage installed. And that is so backwards, as far as I'm concerned. That is so backwards, backwards it's not even funny. So yeah, it's gone. It's, it's been uninstalled and it won't be coming back. I'm almost certain it won't be coming back. Um... And that is just the way of things. Some people will probably disagree with the decision I made, but, you know, I, uh, I feel it was the right one, personally. So, yeah. That, that has happened. That is a thing now. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Was there anything else? No, just the monster mod, I think, really. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So anyway, yeah, thanks for watching this boring ramble of mine. Um, I appreciate that it's not the most exciting topic of conversation ever, but it, I felt it was worth explaining. Um, because otherwise people would start asking me why on earth is everything, everything suddenly so difficult to kill? And why is the game so much harder for you? And the answer is yes, because I got rid of that mod. And I'm glad I did, to be honest with you. Having having tested it out and stuff, yeah, I'm glad I did. Anyway, I'm going to stop recording now, because I'm, I'm recording in the wrong fucking mode anyway. So, yeah. Cheers, and I will see you for the actual episode very shortly.